Artists at this year's snow carving festival in Breckenridge have finished their works. Well, now it is time for Coloradans to go and check out these incredible marvels of engineering and artistry. For those of us who aren't able, though, to make it up to the high country, Spencer Wilson shows us what we're missing. What started off as 12 identical blocks of snow, 25 tons each, after a week's time, have evolved into individual beautiful works of art. The hard work of 12 teams on full display for anyone to walk through free of charge. They say anyone can learn to appreciate art. And then the tuna is that one. But sometimes it's best viewed through the eyes of a child. The eyes go through his teeth. Little Rafael Diaz agreed to tell us what he thought of the statues. That is cool. There's a zombie? With a sprinkle of imagination mixed into reality. I don't think we're going to get away with making a normal snowman anymore in the yard. <laughs> the sculptures are also lit up at night for a different kind of viewing experience. But whether day or night, it's one you have to see in person to really understand. You can uh, see different details and learn about them. And you can uh, go around them to see like the back. And some of them you have to see the backside, right? Because that one has a bear playing a bongo. Team Germany Bulgaria took home first place for their floating sculpture, Sub Zero Gravity. Team Breckenridge took home silver for their massive Uller sculpture, God of Snow. And third place belongs to Team Lithuania with floating clouds and waterfalls. I think second place should have gotten first. Really? I really like second place, but I guess I kind of understand all the balance, but I still think second place place should have won. Now whether or not you agree or disagree with the judges decisions here on third, second or first place, you can always find your own favorite up here and give it your own little gold medal instead. Like the lounge lizards. I love these ones personally. In Breckenridge, Spencer Wilson covering Colorado first. Well, if you want to go see those sculptures, the last day to do so is Wednesday. And Spencer Wilson covers Colorado's high country like nobody else. He lives in Summit County and really cares about the community up there. So you can reach him through CBSColorado.com or call and leave him your story idea by calling 303-863-TIPS.